investigators sorted through the survival gear and supplies Lake had stockpiled in his so-called fallout shelter. Lieutenant Ron McFall remembers that during this phase of the search, they made a surprising discovery. There was a secret door inside the bunker. It was a false door. You really couldn't tell just by looking at it that there was a shelving in it. And after you wiggled the shelf, you saw that the, the door actually popped open. Beyond the shelves was a double door leading to a hidden room. Off to the side was another three foot by six foot compartment. The cramp space contained a homemade wood carpet, a crude shelf holding some toiletries, and a roll of toilet paper. A small hole had been cut into the wall near the ceiling, possibly for ventilation. A tight list of rules was affixed to one wall. They included I must always be ready to service my master, and must never speak unless spoken to. I must always be obedient, and never look my master in the eye. From outside, investigators could see into the small room through a two-way mirror. They also noticed that the hinges of the door had been damaged. You'll further notice the hinges are bent from obviously pressure from inside the door pushing out, trying to get the door open, both the top and bottom. Remembering Lake's journal, investigators feared that Lake had acted upon his fantasy of kidnapping and holding captive a human slave. Forensic specialists dusted for fingerprints and latent evidence. They hoped that if Lake had indeed kept a prisoner here, he or she had left behind some clue of their presence. Found As the search of the property outside the bunker continued, an investigator noticed some loose soil next to the driveway. There, they found a five-gallon plastic paint container. As darkness fell, the task force suspended its search. Inside the cabin, the investigators viewed one of the videotapes they had found buried in the plastic container. They could hardly believe what they were seeing. This case was becoming more frightening with each piece of evidence they uncovered. But nothing could prepare them for what lay ahead. After two days of searching Leonard Lake's cabin, investigators feared more than eight people had been killed and possibly buried on the property. On the second night, the task force moved inside the cabin to view the videotape found buried in a plastic container. The tape depicted two women suffering extreme verbal and psychological abuse at the hands of Leonard Lake and his accomplice, who demanded sexual submission under the threat of violence. We also observed a, an Asian male on the tape, and he had a knife in his hand, and he was cutting the clothing. Uh, this would be the, the blouse, the top, uh, as well as the bra strap, removing clothes from the, uh, from the female. The Asian male was identified as Charles Ng, a shop 